I'm about to wash my edges. I don't feel like washing my entire head. So I'm literally just going to... <laughs> I'm literally just going to wash my edges. Okay, so I did see two girls actually now on TikTok. Black girls who are doing self-tanning. It makes their skin look so good and even toned. So maybe I can do some self-tanning on my face. So that way everything is even. I think that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find out what self-tanning product that they use and apply it to my face. So that way... I don't have this going on because I do want to like give my hair a break sometimes not all the times because I love me a good wig but it's kind of hard doing that when you got a damn tan on your wig so yeah since so she be shampoo and conditioner my hair I'm going to be using the this I can't pronounce it shampoo and conditioner I just got a lot of build up of like the holding spray and edge edge control and it's just giving dusty Mm. And it just feels so good. My scalp is so dry as well. I might have to just take some. I just don't want my hair to be heavy. But I'm going to have to. Actually, coconut oil is not heavy. I could take some coconut oil and put it on my scalp to relieve it from it being dry. But I just feel like my scalp soaks up everything. Coconut oil is so light that I know by tomorrow my scalp will be dry again. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. This stuff smells too good. Now I'm about to rinse out this conditioner, blow dry my hair, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna hop in the shower and do some content. Before I do anything, I brush my teeth. I just love that feeling when you're getting out of the shower, your teeth is already brushed, your body is cleansed, and you can just jump straight into your skincare routine. I'm just so happy that I found a routine that works for me. It's simple, it's easy. I plan on doing a little bit of traveling this summer. Last summer, I did absolutely nothing, so this routine is gonna definitely come in handy this year. Now this mouthwash I'm only using because I just had surgery, but typically I would just rinse my mouth out with regular Listerine. Now because I've been wearing my natural hair out, I have to protect my hair from the humidity in the shower. So I double, triple, quadruple <laughs> protect my hair. You can find this towel wrap on my Amazon storefront. I'll definitely link it down below. These earrings are from Anna Luisa. I personally like to shower in my jewelry. I don't have any worries because this is 14 karat gold plated anyways. So yeah, check them out. And I don't know if I'm the only one who does this, but I personally like to shower in the dark. It's so relaxing. The only reason why it is a little bright right now is because I am obviously currently recording content for my kindred. The first product that I use in the shower is this Eucalyptus Body Wash by Nessa Sire. This is a very gentle physical and chemical exfoliator. Its main ingredients are pumice, bamboo charcoal, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and lactic acid. So the way I use it, I just lather it up a bit and I like to focus on areas that I feel like need the most attention, which are my hands, elbows, arms, knees, legs, and feet. I really enjoy this exfoliator. It definitely helps break down all of that dead skin off of my body and it just keeps my skin feeling smooth and soft. And it's for sure a good prep for shaving. With that being said, I highly recommend this exfoliator by Necessar. to my shower routine and that I know I am not ever getting rid of are these exfoliating shower gloves. And the body wash that I'm using is the Eucalyptus Body Wash by Necessar. They also have fragrance-free body wash and body scrub, FYI. 
But yeah, I'm telling you, these gloves are the bomb.com. Compared to a washcloth or a loofah, it really helps me get my body super clean. And it also assists with me removing the extra dead skin off of my body. I personally love to wash my body with my hands because I can massage my skin. And you know, that helps improve the blood flow throughout your entire body. To wash my vaginal area, I just use regular soap. I know some people can't use regular soap because they're really sensitive, but it works for me. I'm not sensitive. I just ensure to not get the soap inside of my vagina and just clean around it in my pelvis area. And before I get out of the shower, I personally like to be completely dry. One of my biggest pet peeves is when someone gets out the shower and they track water all over the floor it drives me insane but on the flip side i know that some people like to air dry because it helps with their dry skin and because i'm not at home i think that it's respectful to just clean up behind myself i don't like when people go to people's homes and they don't clean up behind themselves it literally takes only five minutes especially if you clean as you go this Tree Hut Sugar Lip Scrub is one of my absolute favorites. It instantly makes my lips so soft and smooth because its key ingredients are Indian peppermint oil, which helps soothe dry and cracked lips, shea butter, which is obviously known for deeply moisturizing skin, hair, etc. And then jojoba seed oil, which helps create that nice barrier to lock in all of that moisture. As far as my cleanser, I love this Soy Face Cleanser by Fresh. It helps maintain the skin's pH by increasing hydration. And though it is a gentle cleanser, it deeply cleanses your pores. Its key ingredients are soy proteins, which help improve your skin elasticity, cucumber extract to cool and calm your skin when irritated, aloe vera, which immediately soothes and hydrates your skin, and barrage sea oil to nourish and soften your skin. Now, this face cream by Kales is no joke. One, because it is extremely expensive, but two, it can definitely go a long way. I love it because it's fragrance-free, it's extremely moisturizing, and ultra lightweight. One of its major ingredients is glycerin, which helps retain moisture and softens your skin. It also contains glycoprotein, which helps hydrate and maintain that moisture balance. And this Butter Lip Bass by Kales is also a pretty penny, but I'm telling you, it's way better than the traditional Carmax, okay? <laughs> because it just instantly brings life back into my lips. Like, look at my lips. They're just looking too good right now. This fragrance-free body lotion by Nessasara is fast-absorbing and hyperallergenic. It contains niacinamide, which is like vitamin B3, which helps strengthen your skin natural barrier. It also contains two signal peptides, which helps your skin visible firmness and tightness. And to follow, I like to use this body serum by Nessasara. It's also fragrance-free and hypoallergenic and contains hyaluronic acid. All of these products by Necessary you can buy individually, but I came across this body ritual kit in Sephora for only $45. It really has all of the four products that I use from Necessary in one kit, all travel size, for simply $45. You cannot beat that. So I definitely highly recommend you try them out. And no, this is not sponsored. <laughs> And to moisturize the rest of my body, I generously apply this anti-aging body balm by Osea. And though I just plan on being in the house today, I still want to look good so that way I can feel good and be put together because I do plan on creating content. So I'm wearing this really cute 
Essentials bralette and thong set from Lounge Underwear. I recently did a haul with this brand, so if you haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out because their quality is A1. And I'm also going to be wearing this really cute legging set from Jerly She. It's only $25. You cannot beat that. I'm going to be posting a haul for them as well, so stay tuned. If you are a true kindred, then you know that I always double up on my fragrances. So I'm going to be wearing Original Must by Kales. And this YSL Black Opium inspired scent by Dozier called Ambery Vanilla. Now that we're all dressed and ready for the day, let's first get into this hair. Y'all, I wear wigs a lot like a lot a lot to the point where I never wear my natural hair out ever really honestly I glue my wigs on I keep them on for like two weeks and then when I do take them off to wash my hair oil my scalp I might leave the wig off for a max of 24 hours and then I'm gluing another wig right back on so that tension from my frontals has definitely caused for my hair line slash edges to fall out because I am not letting my hair breathe. I'm not moisturizing my hair as often as I should because I have my wigs on. So I'm definitely just trying to give myself a break from wigs. Um, and as you can tell, it also caused me to have a nice little tan line because that area of my <laughs> head is not getting any sunlight so yeah i'm definitely gonna take a break and when i do wear wigs i'm just not gonna glue them down i'm just gonna use like a good old holding spray and call it a day but yeah i'm definitely <laughs> gonna have to lay off on the wigs if i want my edges to grow back because who child If you guys are hip to my vlogs and you know that I recently chopped my hair, um, I don't like to put a lot of heat to my hair, so I'm definitely just um, flat ironing the perimeter of my hair so that way the ponytail can appear to be straighter than it actually is because my roots are definitely a little puffy because <laughs> it's been a, a little over a week since I've originally straightened my hair, so yeah. And then for my edges, I either use pattern edge control or spritz, but because I am like a beginner to my natural hair and trying to like <laughs> slay my edges, I'm going to go with the spritz because it just makes my life a hell of a lot easier.
now I'm just cleaning up my brows by tweezing the extra hair that's growing wild and then I almost forgot to put on deodorant I'm using the aluminum free deodorant by secret and this Bobbi Brown lip tint is the bomb.com so I already used the lip mask now this lip tint just gives my lips a nice little pink reddish blushy feel which I think is so cute and flirty and now I'm about to just do a little bit of makeup and call it a day so yeah that is it that is my shower easy skincare routine on the go <laughs> if you guys are interested in this natural everyday makeup look leave a comment down below and i can get on that for you guys and if you guys are interested in my nighttime routine also leave a comment down below and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye